What's up, party people? G5 Productions in the place to be Superman first class in the mix. And if you want to know how to get your freedom sticks in sync, go ahead and smash that like button. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Gerald, excited to share with you all once again. And there seemed to be this big question about the freedom sticks relating to them being out of sync. Now, before we get into it, I'm going to just give you a little backdrop about mine. So the first eight which is representative of that side. I know you guys see seven in the video, but one of them is totally broken, dismantled. That's a separate video. But all of these on this side pretty much were purchased about two or three years earlier than all of the ones on this side. So that is probably why the ones on this side are moving faster, right? I didn't do any special programming to make this look happen. All of these lights are on the same DMX channel. In fact, they are getting their wireless signal from my DMX controller, which is hardwired to uh, the Flarecon Air here. So that's what that contraption is all about. And um, nothing else special. I just went through every single menu settings on all of these lights and every setting is identical. So when I pick a different macro, for example, you'll see here, they'll, they'll all start uh, together but then they'll wind up off because the first half will be moving slower than the second half over here. So here it is. And as you can see, uh, just that fast, the half over here is moving much faster than the half that's over there. So these ones are definitely lagging behind. I have a twofold problem actually. The first problem is uh, one half of the lights are moving faster than the other half and the second problem is on certain macros or programs the light that's in the very middle of all of these is doing its own thing so let's see if we can uh, find that particular problem just moving up the DMX controller here till we get to a spot right there you go right so here's the deal this light right here essentially belongs to this set but I just kind of centered it because uh, I made some notes on a little tab right here that tells me uh, where on my DMX channel I'm having the problems. I do have 16 lights. One of them is totally dismantled because it's broken. I got another part coming for it, so it's not included in the set here, right? It goes with that half. But this half is complete. It's just I got that one in the middle right there doing its own thing. So. In combination of all the problems I have with the freedom sticks right now, I'm just going to deal with two. Speeding up some lights to catch up and that one that's doing its own thing right here in the middle. So what I ordered was a control board here. So there's what it looks like, front view. There's the view with all the thingies attached to it. And um, it basically mounts to a um, display. I do have one of those, but that's for the uh, broken light back there. But just to give you an idea, uh, when it's all said and done, these two pieces actually mount together. So I just got to do a little work with that middle light right there. And again, the idea and my theory here is when I change out the motherboard, I'm hoping it, one, at least fix the problem with the program macros. Number two, if that light continues to sync with this half, then the next thought I have is I have some more motherboards here. Then I'm going to change out a couple of these lights to see if they will catch up with the lights that are on this side. If that's the case, then I know changing the motherboards on all these lights will make the lights work right. Now, if that middle light for some reason happens to sync with this half of the lights, then change all the motherboards on these lights. By the way, here's a quick peek at the back of my DMX power strip setup with the uh, Flarecon. So if you guys want to know how I built that, I'll put a link in the description below for it. Also, if you guys want to know how I take this apart, I'm going to make a video just for the disassembly and reassembly of this. But in this video, I'm just going to take it apart and change out this motherboard. This part right here is the actual display. This is the control board. And I'm gonna make sure that I take the old one, move it to the side. I'm gonna take the new one here, orientate that in the same manner. And I'm gonna compare to make sure everything 
that's on this board it's on this board and so far it looks like everything is so i just want to flip these over real quick to make sure all of the connectors are in play and it looks like they are so this is the obvious uh, old one with the red stuff here i will not be putting any of that on the new one i'm just going to make the connections and keep it moving So this part right here is going to be a little bit unorthodox, but rather than put all of this back together totally, I connected the battery to the motherboard. I connected the LED harness to the motherboard and the power switch to the motherboard. So let's just get this turned on. And oh, by the way, this is plastic, so I'm not worried about anything here grounding out. I do recommend, however, you don't follow my lead. I'm just doing what I'm comfortable with uh, as far as risk taking. So here it is. Is there going to be a change? Is the problem fixed with the macros? We're going to find all of that out right now. A moment of truth, everybody. We're going to go through a few colors that's already pre-programmed. It looks like everything's good so far there. And now we're going to select the freedom sticks and I'm going to adjust the speed first and then I'm going to pick a color macro and see what happens. So as it relates to the Freedom Sticks, they're assigned to fixture button 12 here, and this is the demo. As I move the slider, these will have values in the display, right? So that's pretty much just the speed rate. But when I move the values here, it's just basically saying this number is a macro, right? So right now, we're going to skip right on up to uh, macro 179. So let's just do that. And I'm going to turn around and see if the lights in that regards is fixed all right so 179 and this light is still doing its own thing <laughs> changing out the motherboard did not fix the uh problem with the macros acting up but i could go and get another dmx controller or what if it's the flare con itself I swapped the flare con out for the DeFi hub in transmitter mode. I even swapped out this DMX controller with that DMX controller, which they are identical. But it's still doing the same problem in the same area of the control according to the uh, sticky tabs right here. So the only thing I could think of at this point, there may be a potential problem with the LED assembly. The original LED stick here belonged to that freedom stick right there that's leaned up against the curtain. So this one was uh, damaged while I was trying to take off the harness. So again, just want to reiterate, if you're doing these, really take your time. However, this LED stick was not responding to all of the macros anyway. So I just thought, why not swap it out with one that I already had ordered for another light from Chauvet. So what we're going to do here is see two things. We're going to see which set of lights here or this side um, is it going to sync with and we're going to also see if changing out the LED stick uh, fixes the problem with the macros out of whack on a couple of settings. Also I did take off the new PC board or control board and I put the original control board back on that light. So that light has all its original parts now, except for the LED tube and assembly. So let's go ahead first, do the sync test. So here we go with the DMX controller. It's definitely going in sync with all of the lights that are on this side. So looks like I have a couple of more options to test out on another video. But what I'm doing here is now I know that this stick sinks closer to that way. That answers the question about the uh, the new motherboards because with the old with the new motherboards it was actually sinking that way. So now the other test is is let's check out the macro. So I'm going to get here to about 179 where I know the problem was, and here's uh, 182. So it looks like uh, it's doing what it's supposed to do color wise, and again it is synced more closer that way. So I think it is safe to say that the problem in this case of the middle stick leaned up against the curtain there is 
the LED assembly itself, but I'm still going to go forward with changing out a few of the uh, motherboards here just to see uh, which way does the light sink. Now here's the deal. This light right here, it is originally part of that set, right? But why is it not syncing uh, with that set anymore? Well, I'll tell you why. I did change out the LED tube assembly and a brand new control board. I also, with this second light right here, changed out a brand new control board. So here's the difference. This light with just the control board still syncs that way as it was with the original control board. So there's nothing wrong with the original control board. That thought was if I change all the motherboards out, all the control boards out, all of these lights should start syncing with these lights. But that did not happen. So just the motherboard with this light still caused this light to sync with the original set. But with this light right here, changing the entire LED assembly caused it now to sync over with these lights, right? So this light has a new motherboard and it has a new LED assembly. So obviously these were my newer purchase set than these ones. So my conclusion is if I wanted to have all of these lights here to sync, like all of these lights here, I would literally have to replace all of these LED tube sticks. And I'm going to tell you that is not cost effective. However, that is the solution to the problem, right? Because it's already proven that with this light, by changing out the LED tube that I ordered from ChauvetParts.com, it did cause this light to uh, no longer sync this way, but it now syncs this way, okay? So that's the answer to the problem. So I think, um, in theory, um, there's an option, there's an answer. It's all up to you guys if you want to change out the tubes. I think if it were maybe four or probably one or two, I may go for it, but since it's like another seven of those, I don't think it's worth it. So I'm just going to maybe place these in the mitten of the other half and try to make some kind of sense with the macros that way. Um, other than that, it's a bummer for me because I thought by having this $12 per stick solution would fix it. I only ordered four of these, so I'll keep these on hand just in case. They may generally just be on different firmware, and I think personally the firmware is probably in the tube versus the motherboard. That's it, everybody. So if you got something out of this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to our channel. And of course, to keep up with all of the new videos, all you got to do is rock that bell. I'm Gerald. And if you want to know more about what we do, visit www.gfireproductions.com. Let's party.